Chase Fleck with the Blue Futon. And out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it, we have a DVD this time called The 36th Chamber of Shaolin. Have I seen this movie? No. I've had this movie for probably a decade and decided, you know what, it's time to watch it because my random number generator said to watch it. So let's see if this 36th Chamber is worth it. The 36th Chamber of Shaolin, what's it about? It's pretty simple. It's a revenge story about a bad general going to this town, killing a lot of town folk, and the son wants revenge because he was going to school to study, you know, to be smart. But that doesn't protect the family. So he's like, I need to learn Kung Fu. I need to go to this temple and go through these 35 stages and learn the technique of precision, sight, punching, kicking, mental, physical, emotional, everything like that to be the best kung fu master ever. And is this a good movie? I do think it's a pretty good movie because it is a simple story. Like I said, it's a simple revenge story and it knows that's what it is. Very simple beginning storyline. General comes in, someone tries to dethrone the general, they get killed. So because of that, there's kind of, you know, people in the background like, oh, we need to hide high notes in the fishes. And then the bad general finds out and the guy has to run away to the temple. And there is about an hour-long training sequence. This is not like a Rocky where it's like, you know, punch the meat, punch the meat, run up the stairs, cheer. No, this is literally an hour long of him going to step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to 35. Even though you don't show all 35, it is literally him going, can you walk across the logs in the water? Can you do this? Can you do this? And it is a literally an hour-long training training sequence of carrying water with knives right here so you get arm strength and stuff like that some people might be bored with that but I actually had a fun time watching that whole training sequence with all these movies now and that's what a lot of people don't like about it with you know with the Marvel movies even though it's different Marvel you have Steve Rogers who was a shrimp who was scrawny but he's willing to protect people around him even at the small size same with Iron Man and stuff like that. He really wasn't good at, I mean, he has money, but he goes to this downfall. Unlike Captain Marvel, who's basically, you know, oh, I blasted through space. And now I'm the best in the world. And now I'm unbeatable. Same with WandaVision about Monica just going through the thing and being like, oh, now I have a bunch of superpowers. It's like, they're not earning anything. There's no earning in their storyline. So you don't relate with them. Now, this is more real. And you understand what he's going through because you see the pain. You see the struggle. You see everything going through it. And you see the progress he is making of being kind of like not knowing what he's doing. And being the best Kung Fu master he can be because of training, technique, and dedication. And that's what this has. The training, technique, and dedication to prove people can do it. And I know I brought in the Marvel Universe. But that is a pet peeve of like the new Captain Marvel, Monica Lambeau characters where it's like they don't earn anything. They literally just get it and you're supposed to be like, oh yeah, go queen. And you're like, no, no, nope, nope, and nope. But overall, good fight sequences. It's a good Chinese movie. And you will notice some Nazi symbols in this movie because of the whole historical remnants of this film. Of like when it was filmed and having the Nazi relics in China at that moment and using the props in the background. So you will notice some Nazi symbols and you're like, oh, that's actually interesting. And people might be like, oh, but I'm like, no, that's culture. That's the past. And we need to remember the past. But overall, is there any negatives? Yeah, the battle sequence or the training sequence can be a little bit too long. But at the same time, it's refreshing to see this. It played out that way of, you know, not just a montage of montage, you know, South Park or is it Team America just having a montage of training and fighting and ta-da, they're the best they could be. No, this is dedication, slow dedication. And I, I dig that. I really did. I mean, there are some good fight sequences. It is a lot more slow compared to like, you know, Jackie Chan and doing stuff, trying to speed things up. No, this is more of like slow and you see everything happening. So you're like, okay, okay. And it's, it's fun to watch. And it's a really good movie, actually. And I recommend it if you're into kung fu movies. This is something you need to watch. So the 36th Chamber of Shaolin will receive a 4.5 out of 5 with futons. It was at 90%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So the critics, there's only 4 of them. And it equals a 75% because 3 positive, 1 negative. And the audience score an 89% with over 1,000 of them. And because of that, no critic consensus. And you're probably wondering, Chase, didn't you say there was 
36 chambers, but you said there's 35 levels. Well, if you want to figure out what the 36 chamber is, I recommend watching this movie. But overall, I enjoyed it. I think you will too if you enjoy kung fu movies because this one is methodical. It takes its time and it shows a dedication. You need dedication, training, and failure to get to the top. So do you agree with my 90 or the 89 or the 75? Chase out with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Blue Tontopia, you Blue Tonians. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. And are you a kung fu master? I mean, I wasn't in karate when I was younger. I got to maybe like red belt or something, but I'm not flexible anymore, guys. Not at all.